Kristen with Nerd Ed's Newsstand, and I want to talk about an article that I saw in Deadline. And I'm not even going to bury the lead with this video because I do think it's important to talk about why this movie should go out there, why it shouldn't be buried, for more than just the reasons that you would think. I think this is an important story. Minamita Japan has a long history of needing its story to be told. And unfortunately, just when you think something like that is going to happen, we see possibly it being buried and MGM doing their, you know, entire, making it their entire vendetta to not even market this thing. Now, there was a letter sent to Deadline from Andrew Levitas. He is the director of this, and we'll take a look at that. But I want to talk a little bit about Minamita. If you don't know, basically in Minamita, Japan, there was a corporation, Criso Corporation, right? And one day, the local people, they were out and about. They started noticing cats were dancing. Cats were going crazy. And then cats were dying. And they started acting weird. And it turns out that, you know, plot twist, it was because the Criso Corporation was responsible for this poisoning. Now, about 30 years or so before that, the Criso Corporation started using a chemical compound that is called acetaldehyde. And acetaldehyde is a precursor to such things as plastic, and it's used quite a bit. But the problem is, when you mix it with the catalyst they were using, aka mercury, it unfortunately can be extremely poisonous. Now, when they use the Criso Corporation, use this to basically dump in the water, people started to then act like the cats. Maybe not in such a certain way, but there it was, you know, it was dumped all of the leftovers into the bay. And Mercury is one of the nastier elements, right? And it is on the periodic table in the heavy metals, which are known to be some of the nastier elements. You still have it around, right? You still have it in such things as your old thermometer. And your gut really doesn't absorb it. So say you were to take mercury and actually to eat a you know, somehow digested or somehow swallowed a tab of mercury, right? Your gut really wouldn't digest it. It wouldn't be a huge deal. Of course, it would be a big deal. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just giving you an example. Your gut doesn't really absorb it. But if you inhale it, it can cause hallucinations and delusions. We've seen that. That's actually, you know, the Mad Hatter. He, he That was the original story. But because they were inhaling it, not inhaling it, and it was in the water, it became one of the most poisonous forms of mercury, methyl mercury. So carbon, I already said this, I know, but carbon plus mercury plus a single positive charge equals methyl mercury. Now, remember how I said your gut doesn't really absorb mercury? You could swallow it and, again, don't. Well, methyl mercury is able to be absorbed nearly 100% by your gut. So methyl mercury... Absorbed in plants, plants eaten by fish, fish eaten by people, water drank by people. You see how it's an endless cycle of poisoning? And not only that, it's able to cross the blood-brain barrier and the placental barrier, causing a mass amount, a mass amount of poisoning, nearly 10,000 people. So it then took basically 12 years for the poisoning of Minamita to stop. And they didn't even have it cleaned up until 1977. The Crystal Corporation opened in 1908. Do you see why this story needs to be told? It wasn't cleaned until even later than that. So, this is ridiculous. They started using acetal, uh, acetaldehyde in 1932, and it wasn't cleaned until 1977. This is why the story needs to be told. And... I'm not sure if 
whatever you think about Johnny Depp matters in this story. It doesn't matter in this story because it's not up to you. Do you realize all of the people of Minamita that you are disgracing by not telling this story? Do you see what I'm saying? So let's take a look at what Andrew Levitas had to say. I tried to do the TLDR. I'm really bad at summary, so I hope it made more sense. And I hope you understand what a serious situation this was. So he comes out and he says, you know, roughly a year ago, MGM purchased the North American rights of the film Minamita after reviewing it and uh, Berlin Nail. Berlinol? Berlinol. MGM was intent on bringing it to light the suffering of thousands of victims of one of the most heinous industrial pollution accidents that has ever been seen in re-exposing their pain in the sharing of the story. The long marginalized community hoped for one thing, to lift history from the shadows so that other innocent people would never be affected as they have. And it seemed in that moment, with MGM's partnership, a decades-long wish had finally come true. Now, imagine the devastation when they learned this past week that despite an already successful global rollout, MGM had decided to bury the film. Because MGM was more concerned about the possibility that the personal issues of an actor in that film could reflect negatively upon them. And that from MGM's perspective, the victims and their family were secondary to this. That's so important to remember. If you are sidelining Johnny's film, you're not just sidelining because... You know, you're worried about controversy. You're sidelighting every single one of those people. 3,000 people died. 10,000 people affected. You're sidelining every single one of them. Go on um, YouTube. Search up Minamita victims. Yeah, I don't know how you could say no to that. I really, really don't. So basically, he does go over. He talks about who he was at also able to talk to who had been directly affected as a child who had been directly affected as a child that was born poisoned in the womb but MGM has the goal to try to sideline this this is a story that needs to be told and just because Johnny plays Eugene Smith who was the journalist who really got in and started making people realize this just because he plays Eugene doesn't give you a right to silence these people's voices. Can you imagine doing this for any other issue in history? Like, this is absolutely terrible. I really hope that this situation is resolved. Because if not, it needs to be broadcasted to the world that MGM cares more about what they look like than about those victims. And that's really, really disturbing. Now, this is also um, up from Movie Web. MGM and its latest movie studio has come under fire, appearing to distance themselves from JD. So it, you see what I mean? This is being picked up a little bit. But do you see how big this article is? Yeah, that's not okay. None of this is okay. So anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think. Make sure you hit like. Make sure if you're interested, of course, hit subscribe. But also just leave a comment. If anything, I've talked a lot about this issue when it comes to Deb. And this one's truly, there's so many of them. But this one's truly disturbing. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. It always helps with the algorithm. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.